I am on again, Jay Kenon also. No, but say, would you think at that? As a couple of sink at Adrena and Amma. As one can go to the as alone. As soon as you get in a child, I go, or try to go to the other. He said, he said, he said, I did cause you there, the case you update, daily update, need what was stomach. In your name, and was stomach and water over, and as in a yabo. Eastern News 24. I see when I was telling you about Nukozia do Kemba, Bastamaka, Yename no Budo. I would if I be a from Prime Minister, would you buy a noble sinkatana evening tea? I find a boy, Kent, Guinea Fair, or Dogu, no leaf, Nabia Fralande. Gent Guinea for would you go me? You get here be fair, I shall make a money room, I will manun gay gear. On the case, you know, drop what I comment you know, if you chabas some akin that nina of Gassi Nirakua, no bossing guitar, Iana, well, even in tea. All right, over to you, sir. Even if it is a business entity, they needed some kind of identity to be able to operate, to be able to become IPOB. So the status of IPOB in the United Kingdom is not is not issue, is not the main issue. The main issue is that what oh. IPOB stand for. Why was it registered? Was this registered for profit or was this registered to fight for freedom? That is what matters. So the issue of people pointing hand at IPOB registered as a business is a misplaced priority because they have to register under something. That's the one thing I want everybody to understand. So, so to me, it does not matter whether it's a business entity or not. What matters is that what that particular registration, what was it used for? Or what is it being used for? Is for the restoration of Biafra. And there is no, like I said, there is no law anywhere in the world, there is no country that have a provision in their CAC registration or in their in patent and, and the registration authority that have a provision for you to register as a government. You understand that? And that have addressed that question and the concern of many people who are thinking that IPOB is a business organization or register as a business. They should understand this. There is no provision. To register as a government because if there is a provision you register as a government or register as a freedom fighting movement right so it must be a non-profit organization that will give community service or community service based non-profit organization thank you thank you very much for the clarity when it got what you got what you got before before and i hang my that's why I'm just the guy be so suspicious. So is the other going here. I'm not even having an animation. That was the kind of one. Please, uh, Sonny, you people should uh, take note of this screenshot. We are now 7,400 live viewers. Record breaking. Yeah, not there. And when we keep Goku, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Our PM. Sonny, there is still hands up. And uh, Ambassador Uze, there are two hands up. Jane yes. and uh, Joseph. Um, and yeah, let's put the hands, hands up them. before go and go. Uh, 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 Joseph, uh, Joseph Mosu, can you unmute and speak? You can unmute now. Yeah, go okay. ahead. Uh -huh. Please, Please be a unique host, sir. <laughs> okay. Can you can do that movie? So as a modern abata and uh, even no, if I have home, I play. So just about a travel to in Australia. So I know already a bit city. Maybe you have to fly to this uh, remote area to walk. Uh -huh. So on a their logic, I'm not here. So him watch a radio about uh, agitation now uh, in the uh, freedom fighting movement. Yeah. And what are Biafra? And what you know? I'm not going to Biafra. Biafra or the whole of old eastern region or the part of this Biafra. Can Biafra in a do or just for Imo, Abia, Boni, and Enugu State? Yes, so can I? Oh, what does it mean? So can I? This is Yes, yes, I saw so we a lot of uh other group which are very close to us. And I had it and then I 
Niger Delta. If you know sometimes, maybe I've got Niger Delta, grab your city in Niger Delta. So are you aware? Are you are you aware? Are you are you aware that Nainwelo forty United States of Biafra? Yes. Up from the recently. So if for if for the forty states. Yes. Up from the recently, and I walk up. Yes. Okay, so if it's at the 40 states, are, are you doubting the 40 states or because I want to ask you I'm a, I'm a, I'm a PM now I'm from the phone, you know, here. Uh, hey, it's more mm -hmm. or less virtually, but all the it's very close to face to face. All the camera can mm -hmm. clarify in that because uh, okay. so for the, your, for the, your, an, yeah. the answer to your question, the answer to your question is yes. Mm -hmm. And today mm -hmm. we have de facto government of the upper land, and we have 40 United States of Biafra cut across the hinterland and the coastal region. So yes, they are part of Biafra and they have their own state. And the state, we are, what we are practicing in Biafra is confederation, the confederate state of Biafra, otherwise known yeah. as the United States of Biafra. So they are part of Biafra. Okay, my hand is Joa Joa. Before the name behind About them on the Nino and Nibo now supporting Biafra. This state in a mission now, are they all supporting Biafra? No, everybody must not support Biafra. And that's why we have these troubles today, you see, in Anibo. Are we supposed to be preaching to people about their, their freedom? No. But that is what makes us rumor. So, and it's always, I always say in a democracy, majority carries the vote. So it is not a must. In a freedom fighting movement, you need just four percent or three percent. To get freedom of millions of people. That is always like it is always like that. In this you only know about Gandhi. Is there another person? In South Korea, how many people that fought for their freedom? Czech Republic, Czechoslovakia or Slo uh, Slovakia, how many people? There is always few people that will push for the freedom of the people, and those who will become who will become sabo must be subdued. That's what we are doing in Biafra land, and we are going to do it very well. And the reason why the Biafra one is a little bit different is because of the system that Nigeria has, uh, uh, you know, imposed on us. And many of you do not know how criminality, forgery, and all these things came to Nigeria. I said it last time in, our meet, in one of our meetings. It started from the Afra war. This phone 19, this scam, this internet fraud and all that started from the Afra war. That is what gave birth to all the crime, all this uh, internet fraud you see today. And like I said, I will explain it very well in details how it started. In one of this, in one of these states of the uh, union, I will, I will address, I will make, I will explain the root of the scam you see today. In Nigeria today, when you see people doing internet fraud, it comes from Biafra or Ududua. But the root is what I'm going to explain. So you know that before we fight for this Biafra freedom, we know our end point. We know what is going to be our fate. And we have seen that the future is bright, brighter in our own land than in Nigeria. So the thing that gave birth to fraud, we have started tackling them today. And we can never, talk, we can never cross from Nigeria to Biafra land with the mentality of Nigeria and the thing that gave birth to this particular fraud you see everywhere today. We have started tackling it. So that is the reason why every, every one of you must understand your problem so you get the solution. If you do not understand your problem, you can never solve it. So today we have created that particular, the, the loophole for the collapse of the Nigeria economy and it is collapsing. And we have, the cost in our plan. We also have the solution. That's that is never going to be a solution. Because anything that will bring and revive Nigeria economy, we, are, we will never allow it. And remember, in this freedom, they will kill us, we will kill them. At the end of the day, the Afra must come.
when I look at people sharing videos of, oh, ESN, uh, Biafra Liberation, they have not mentioned Biafra Liberation Army. They say ESN. So we are not responding to them until when they say e Biafra Liberation Army camp has been attacked. Yes, I will not re respond to them if there is need. For now, they have not uh, talked about us. They are only talking about ESN. ESN doesn't exist. And if you must understand the reason why they continue to say this ESN is because the people who they work with, who they collaborated with to kidnap Masin and Bikano, they have told them that now that the Joko is out of the way, because what they used to deceive the affair is that who is paying the lawyer? Who is paying the lawyer? Immediately, a Joko is out of the way. They tell you they gather people and snap picture and snap video. They tell you ESN is back. So where were the ESN for the past two and a half years? Nobody has asked that question. Okay. Now, everything that happened, they say ESN, I pop ESN. Do you know why? Because that is exactly what they asked them to do. They say ESN. Even when me personally is posting picture of how we are dealing with them, decimating them, they are not going to say Biafra. They say ESN. Have you ever seen anything like that? <laughs> when somebody comes to say, let me do this thing, though. they say, no, no, you do it. Another person do it. Have you ever seen anything like that? So, but it is happening. That should tell you exactly going on. But you see what? You know one thing? What you, when you know what you are doing, continue to do it. Because before you start doing what you are doing, you know exactly what the result is going to be. Once that result is coming, don't look back. That's what we're doing. We're not looking back, irrespective of the distraction and propaganda. Today, they tell you they have attacked ESN. You know, they have attacked ESN. Did you see anybody? Have they displayed the body of anybody like they used to do? You know, every time there is something, they display bodies. Because that is the only thing that will demoralize the people. Have they done it? No. But of course, I know sometimes now they will go to sell and uh, capture people and kill them, and then say they tell you, "Oh, this is uh, ESM. This is ESM." I want, you, I want you to, I want to ask you, how, when did you see them displaying body of anybody? You know, the last time. What they do now is to carry cloth, carry even dengon. We don't use dengon. We have machine gun. Everybody can see that. We use machine gun. We use GPMG. We use, we use many heavy weapons. We use anti aircraft. If they have done, where they, can they display the anti aircraft that they have captured from our men? No, because that, such thing doesn't exist. They went to the market and started dancing. Have you ever seen where military go and start dancing and start telling people don't support IPOB? If they have defeated their, our men or according to them, why are they telling people not to support them? It means that they have not done anything, they have lost the war. So, my people, give, don't give room to propaganda. Our own is action based. And the reason, the reason why I'm happy. Is because I know what they are going through. Very, very well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. For that, but when he was on to his excellency, he here Basra is Sita the reason we gain freedom of mass in the canon. Sita every Monday up to it has been going on, if I can remember. In Mambomagara, Nigeria, Gom Nigeria, at least it's that home name like two or three times. No, so, so, what is the question? So, what is the question? question? The question is how effective is it? Because uh, I, I witness come to sit at home. Yes, people want to mm -hmm. stop, but how achieve that goal of freedom of Mars and Nam Nekano up to now? So, what is it really working? It is really working. Mm -hmm. And that is why the economy of Nigeria is there. And let me tell you, enemy, if you understand what freedom fighting is, your enemy doesn't give up easily. It's just like you. You are fighting with somebody in the street and the person knocks you. Are you going to just run away? No. You want to show yourself that even if you are dying, you'll be waiting for somebody to come and separate, and separate two of you. And you'll be, you will be trying and praying that, ah, uh -uh, are these people not seeing us? We are fighting you. Be, even your last your last strength you will use it to, to throw punch until somebody will come. Then you will be, you know, like that. But the most important thing is that you that is imposing sit at home, do you understand what you are doing? Do you actually know what sit at home can do to the economy? Do you know exactly what you are doing? That's what matters. And like I said, I am not here. In the struggle to do, uh, uh, you know, to do a trial log. Because I understand what the sister to home is doing. That's why I stick to it. 
But if you don't understand, they will push you, tell you, just people like you will come here and say, oh, it's not working. No, I have not been released. Though. And then you give up. It means that they have defeated you. But once you know what the impact of sit at home is, no matter how they try to demoralize you, stick to it. At the end of the day, the result will call itself. Today, the result is calling itself. Do you know why Shetima went to the Southeast and said, if we be able to fix Southeast, we are fixed Nigeria? You don't know. You don't know. If I ask you now, do you know that uh, you are aware that Shetima went to the Southeast and said, anytime we fix Southeast, we have fixed the problem of Nigeria? You don't know the reason he said it. But I'm telling you today, the reason is because they know that the Southeast is the powerhouse of the economy of Nigeria. Every business is going on in Nigeria today is connected to Southeast. I am telling you the fact. Every business in Lagos, business in Lagos is connected to Southeast. Business in Kano is connected to Southeast. Business in uh, Abuja is connected to Southeast. And once the Southeast economy is disturbed, it disturbs the economy in Lagos, it disturbs the economy in Abuja, it disturbs the economy in Kano. This is what is happening in my people. That's why they are confused. Nobody, no economics, nobody will revive this economy so long as this is as continuous. You see that home create the uncertainty on the people that are doing business in Nigeria. You see that home create the fear to multinational corporations that are doing business in Nigeria. The seat at home has proven that Nigeria has lost control of the territory to Biafra. The seat at home has con continued to, you know, to show to the outside world, business, many business, multi corporation, and Nigeria has lost it all. They are now incapacitated. And if they don't leave Nigeria now, they may wake up tomorrow and everything they have invested in Nigeria is gone. That is why many companies are folding. You people don't know what is going on. That's why many companies are folding up. Then when they fold up, they will leave small thing. They say to the indigenous or whatever, they, you know, how they do it offshore, inshore, and they leave something just to see, to stay outside and watch. Because if they don't pull it out, tomorrow everything may burn down. And that is the end. So the sit at home is creating that particular fear. It has also proven that we, the Biafra people, are only loyal to the Biafra government. It means that Nigeria has lost the integrity, the trust on the people of Biafra. That's why they are fighting. They even say, we are unfortunate, we are killing people, and, and all, that, all those kind of stories. And let me tell you, in sit at home, that you see people moving, does not mean that the effectiveness is not there. What we are looking at is these big companies that will not open in Biafra land. That is the target. Not when you see people in the street, you say, oh, they are moving. You know, the big companies are not, banks are not opening. Banks are not opening. Big government offices are not opening. That is the one that is actually doing the, the work. Not the people selling something on the street. Not the people selling by the roadside. No, you can see people moving around. It does not matter. The most thing that we are interested in is the banks. Is the big companies in Biafra land that can never open. And with that not opening alone, it is sending a, sending a very dangerous signal to the outside world, to the government itself, and the economy has crashed. It takes a long time for the effect to be seen. And now we are going to the third year. So after two and a half years, the effect is here, my people. What you see happening today has no remedy. And they tell you it is because of the subsidy. But today we have come to see that even when they announce there is no subsidy, they are paying the subsidy up to $1 trillion. Have you not heard it, had it that they are still paying subsidy? <laughs> so it is not subsidy. We know what we are doing. And let me tell you, we watch them in the mirror. There is nothing very good that when you see your enemy, watch them and see what they are going through. You know where to be tightening the, the knot. So he had a maybe him more. I more than him. So just support whatever we are doing. We are not trying luck. The result is here for you to see. And let yes. me tell you, hunger is coming. You see this uh, hunger in Nigeria, it is not going to affect Ndibo. Because Ndibo don't rely on the policy of Nigeria to survive. I'm not sitting at home, they are dying every day for hunger. But we have sit at home for almost three years. Nobody is dying. Anybody that is poor is poor. Anybody that cannot feed, cannot feed. It is not because of one day or every Monday sit at home, but because that sit at home 
has created a very big fear to the corporation companies that powers the economy of Nigeria today. And they are no longer having that trust. And we must continue to create that fear until the declaration of Yafra. Thank you. He Thank says, you. okay, one well, 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 last question. After this Go last ahead. question. Uh, the last first the of all, the, is, first of all, I'll put just some yeah. charge question now. It's similarly one other question. First of all, do you see any sense in what I've just said? Yes, yes. In Hikuru, in Hikuru, okay. makes sense. Hey, ma, in well, in well, go ahead, go ahead with the second. We are so, another question. So, go ahead with so, another question. So the, the question now, the other, the other two, but I want them final. In Kabo, in Kabo, is how soon can you want to be after another one? What will release in Nam the Kano now? Mas in Nam the Kano. The people are not name operate. The people are not name name name. An affront for this Biafra agenda. Is it going to be a government? Or to any other country? Okay, we don't buy the idea of Mazin and Bikan going back to UK. That's number one. But let him come out first. But we are not buying the idea of him going back to UK. He may not be protected in UK. But let him come out first. Okay? When he come out, we will discuss that particular issue of where he is going to go. And then the second question is whether he will come and start pushing. I don't think Mazinam the Khan will come and start pushing the way he was pushing before. He has done that job. All he needs to do now is to stay and give directives. You don't see him to come and start making broadcasts. Oh, even before he was captured, he said he's tired of broadcasts. He said he's tired. He don't want to broadcast anymore. What I am doing now is what he wanted to do. They don't allow him. He said he is tired of broadcasting. How many years is he going to broadcast? Is Biafra going to come from broadcasting? No. You need to back it with actions. That action is what we are doing now. Can you imagine if this, all, these, all these criminals today supporting what we are doing? And there is no this. Uh, The fracas here and there, you know where we should have been by now? Because they manipulate a lot of people. So just think about it, just think about it that let us assume that these people are not creating all this propaganda here and there, where we should have been now. Now for the past three years, we, we have managed to do what we have done today. Just think about it that there is, there is no opposition, there is no, you know, this uh, propaganda here and there, there is no, this because no matter how you see it, it did a little bit damage, it did, but we we're able to control it. And now we're moving forward. So, but let us assume that this particular distraction were not there. You know where we have been. Mazidam Dekan would have been released. I am telling you, as I'm talking to you today, with the activities of the Biafra liberation, the North are begging to release Mazidam Dekan. It is the Imo state, uh, this uh, administrator, uh, Supreme Court administrator, Hopu Salima, that are promising them that he is capable, he is going to do this. Let them not release him. I am telling you the fact. So the North okay. are tired. This Asewaji, you see, uh, Ahmed Dunu, is tired. Because they know the truth. They know why the economy has crashed. It is because of Mazen and the Kano. It is because of the sister to home. And let me also tell you that the sister to home is not only for Mazen and the Kano. Because what Nigeria... And by that, I don't know when I saw that I was born. I was born in East Times 24. I was born in East Times 24. Asa Drop a raya on the comments below. Also, the key be able to tell you about this time is 24. Can we see?